Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Tales of Berseria. The expedition is back. We have one times two. I knew this would be big. We got the Im treasure. Imperium Tablet. An artifact unearthed from the uh, Norman Archipelago. Oh, the tablet is inscribed with five crests, and it is thought to have belonged to a temple. <laughs> Disciple of the Sail, Lubber Class. I don't know what that means, but it sounds fun. And we learned about the Soma Volcano. We're gonna head to Scout now. Ship. Thank you. All right, no more scouting, no more shipping, no more anything. So let's go head on in as we were about to do at the end of the last episode and see what's in here. Hopefully, my mad skills all up in a mad abundance are going to continue to work. There's no guarantee. My left eye is itching, so I'm going to take a moment to rub it, and then we're gonna continue on down this way and gather up hopefully some good stuff or not. Huh, random dead end with apparently no legit loot. Also, it appears that there is not only no legit loot, there's monsters inside there, which is fine. Uh, there also appears to be those rocks? Creatures? What? I don't, I don't know. There also appears to be no treasure chests. That's, that's what I was getting at. Oh. Guess it's time to fight. Oh. Oh. Okay. I feel like it's going to hit me. And it doesn't seem to care that I'm attacking it. Well, I did a whole bunch of stuff to it. And it seems like our new uh, thing is working too poorly here. I'm not going to lie, our new combo seems to be fine. Relatively legit. Dodged it. Consuming Claw, and let's end it with this. Wounds that won't heal. Lethal pain. Man, I'm not sure that a, a golem can feel lethal pain, but if it could, I bet it is not super thrilled with me right now. Alright, let's get some devouration on here. Let's apparently avoid most of the crazy shenanigans and victory. Stop fooling around. Not bad about my fooling around. Arts learned the whirling top. Cool. Okay, so rock golems, ladies and gentlemen. Not the nicest things ever, but that's okay. It's okay. we we'll punch our way through or kick our way through the brick here. It looks like there's a tunnel that we can crawl through. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm curious. Let's do that first. Where does this take us, I wonder? Please don't be another Code Red Demon that we can't handle easily enough. We found a chest in this area. Cool, a slow ward. It's a ring of some sort. Not sure what it's going to be good for. Probably absolutely nothing. Got another ore fragment. And onward. Alright, so there we go. We found a secret hidden place of doom and gloom and... Oh boy, mushroom, I guess. I actually want to go back this way. Sorry. Alright, looks like there's a little bit of loot to be had there, dead end here with nothing, dead end here with nothing, okay. And into the big wide open room, the wide open area, there's a weird looking person over there, I'd like to see what you're all about. Everyone ready zombies, sweet, I am all for zombies, I'm all for zombies that don't slow me down though. Devouring going on here. Okay, well, it's not going 100% according to the plan, but it's, it's not too bad here. Throw our devouration in here. Let's see, what do we get? Another good combo in there. Oh! Spiral hail? Not bad. We have Moggy Lou's painting the town red. I mean, that's you won't that's get any pity or compassion from me. Two point one, not bad. All right, we got a Mars satchel. Not sure. I guess that's another thing for the kid. Uh, prevents food from spoiling even on hot days. Cool. 
Yeah, I know, you hate us, and you want to eat our souls, and tickle us with your little weird legs and things, it's, it's fine. Alright, we're just gonna avoid you instead, and go this way. Listen, Lafayette, what is it? You can't trust her just because she said she'd protect you. Orders or no orders. Remember, Malakim are just tools to exorcists. But... she really did protect me. I know you feel you owe her for that. But do you have to look so happy about it? Uh. Sorry. I'm not asking for an apology. I just want her to know that we've all got an eye on her. No matter how close you two get, I want her to understand that I come first. So... what do you want me to do? Let's see. To put it simply, I'm number one, and Eleanor is number two. Got it? Uh... I get it. You're number one, and Eleanor is number two. Right. I'm number one. Wait, this is kind of stupid, isn't it? Yeah. It's alright. I understand. Uh, that's not what I mean. It's it's pretty stupid. I'm not gonna lie. Also, wasn't he number two uh, when he was being controlled by that other exorcist? I mean, that that's kind of not great. And you're gonna kind of give him common ground because, you know, he was considered number two. It's fine. Oh, goody. Code Red Demon time, ladies and gentlemen, because, you know, everything was going so swimmingly so far. I do like our new combo. It seems to be quite decent. I'm going to see if I can't get around behind the Zams. Nope. You better be ready. Oh, we get an entire giant... Uh, an entire giant plethora of nasty. Wait, what happened to our... How did we... Well, we somehow lost one of our uh, things. I'm not super sure how. Ow. I can't seem to combo these guys. I feel like my combo's decent, but... I, they seem to fall outside the range of the follow-up attack. Come on. See, we're really, we're really kind of struggling with this. Oh good, now we have one. I don't really need a healing circle, I need a uh, give me some cool items circle. There we go. At least everybody else is kind of doing their thing. I tried to avoid that, it did not work. Second time I tried. Can I not dodge? It was a close for some run, reason right there. But I am the victor. I wasn't really close. I just couldn't do much. So the zombies little AOE thing. Well, first off, it's not little. It's it's actually quite 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 substantial. Uh, apparently it drains me of one of my uh things, which is not good. I am not a fan of how that all goes down. Oh, cool. We can go like right out here. Go ahead and launch a save, just in case something horrible happens, i.e. me, doing bad stuff, as I often do. What is this? A candle? What's that doing here? Do not take candle! Oh, I think these were used to keep robbers away, like wards around old king's tombs. Really? I've read about this. There's a trick to the stone. It reacts to heat. Heat, huh? Then there's only one thing to do. Candles and doors. Some doors are sealed with a flame enchantment that, or, and cannot be opened by ordinary means. But by finding and lighting candles in the area, you can dispel the enchantment and open the door. Sweet. Problem, though. Doesn't it look like we can get it through this? It looks like this is a, a, a impassable thing. For now, however, we can still walk over here and find the single cat orb that was behind. Ugh. Well, at least it's been a while since some of the horrible, horrible cat puns have come and made us sad. Alright, I don't care much about any of you. Yeah, I'm gonna kick a hole in this. I think we can, yeah. I think we're, I think we're gonna probably gonna be able to crawl through a hole, and that's gonna lead us to where we're actually wanting to go to get the thing. That was gonna be my guess, and it appears that I may actually be correct. I know it's shocking to be sure. Chest, thank you. I will take your gold, and I will raise you a gold or two. 
Seems like most of this stuff is pretty, eh, you know, straightforward. It's fine. Alright, let's head on over here, and it's going to be Code Red Demon time. Hopefully I don't embarrass myself completely. Like, partial embarrassment's okay, but complete? Eh. It's a snake. It is a serpent. It is a thing of doom. And it sees us, so... A foe worth killing. Take, take the guy. Guy. Oh, good. We just got hit. Stop running from me! Okay, well that didn't work exactly how I had in mind, so let's see if we can't do a little bit of that. Nice. I can heal the wound, but I can't heal the pain! Well, this is not really giving me the stunning that I need. Why was I unable to move there? Now, right. Oh, yes! Arise, Angel. Boom! Pierce, Thank you for hitting me, I guess. Oh, you're taking a dirt nap over there, buddy. Maybe we should get you back up and running. I don't know. Let's get you a life bottle onto the dead guy. Rokuro! Alright, there's definitely a thing over here. Go for some devouration. Okay, not bad. Stamp some stun in here. Throw the stun off. And a big old lightning hit. Doing well, some pretty good combos now. I'm gonna go for the devouration. Another stun. Another big hit. I wanted to chain it a little bit better than I am. There we go. Alright, so devour. Devour again. And... No mercy to finish it. Hope we get some amazing loot from this. 43 hit combo, 11,000 damage. It's quite good. Alright, Brunhilda is the uh, title that our gal, uh, was Eleanor, decided to earn herself. We got the Scouts of Ventite. Doubles the effect rate for the first strike in battle. Cool. It seemed underwhelming, though, I'm not gonna lie. A, a little underwhelming. I kind of wish we could break through these uh, weird crystals, but I guess not. That's fine. We got through the Code Red Demon uh, problem. Uh, we didn't die this time. Rokuro died, which is uh, weird. Normally it's my own failures. This time I get to blame the AI. I like that way better. Makes me feel far less inferior and horrible at this game. Sweet! Well, this game is quite expansive. Again, the only thing I can say that's not necessarily my my cup of tea or one of the critiques I would say to this game or this series in general is as expansive and you know like far as the world goes and you know it takes you they're, they're so empty I mean I know it, it's leading you down certain paths but it's still very very empty I mean there's like different areas you know you have the crystals here and the walls and this cave does look different from the other caves that we've been to but still overall it's very empty like, there's not a lot of extra stuff here. I mean, there's some things on the sides and whatnot, like, they apparently know that there's, you know, wide open areas, and they do try to spice it up a little bit, but it's it's still just lacking a little bit. And I, I don't know. I don't know. That's about my only uh, argument. Now, sometimes, you know, you can go and put too much stuff in there and just make it absolutely absurd and ridiculous, and you can't get anything accomplished. Oh, boy, the turtles. Like, you know, it, it, it detracts from the game. Like, there's too much happening, it's too busy, there's too much on the screen, just kind of pulls you away or out of the immersion. So, I don't know. There's a balance to be found. I don't know what specifically they could do to make it better, but I just feel like the world just seems kind of, like, is that empty? Like, even the towns and stuff seem a little bit dead. Eh. 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 Well... The towns are better. Like, they did a better job with the towns than they did with the dungeon areas. Well, that's fine. Alright, let's talk to the turds. What's up, turds? The Porta Cadnix Island is through the tunnels beyond the sealed door. Wait, was that information free, too? 
Some would say yes. Some would say yes. All right, let's get rid of some more amber blades. Dismantle, 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 amber daggers. Dismantle, dismantle, dismantle. Bamboo stack. Uh, dismantle, calcite paper, a whole bunch of it. <laughs> All right, calcite bracelet. Amber bracelet. Uh, okay, all your dolls are good to go. Okay, so now we're looking at calcite belts. I'm going to keep those around. Well, she... I guess only needs... One... Don't need two amber belts. Calcite talisman. It's fine. Oh, a whole bunch of amber talismans. What are we looking at for actual money? I think we're okay. Calcite bag. Calcite pendant. Amber pendant. A whole bunch of those. Uh, too many mana earrings. What she's using is actually terrible. Let's get rid of that one. Uh, amber earrings, goodbye. Simple ribbon, and we're back to the top. Thorny waistcoat. Uh, I don't think we need that many amber waistcoats. Let's get rid of some of those. Calcite garments, a bit much. Silky touch garments, let's get rid of that one. Amber garment, get rid of that. Battle, okay. Rings. So many rings. Get rid of two of the resistance rings. One of the fire rings. One of the wind rings. And that's it for that. Calcite boots. Two people still need them. And he's got one on. Amber boots, get rid of two. Battle boots. Get rid of this one. Hard shoes are fine. And that's pretty much it. Let's go to the Armstrong. Alright. So we've done that. We have this the Shell Shredder. Which does seem to have one of the highest uh, damages for her. So let's see if we can't enhance that. It's maxed out at three. Okay. Uh, Calcite Dagger. We can do one there. It's fine. Is he about done with those, mastery-wise? I'm not sure. Uh, calcite paper, I'm sure he's probably close to it. Yeah, he's pretty close to it. Um, he's going to go with the bamboo stack next. Let's go ahead and get that. Alright, let's see. The Armstrong. He's just starting, so we can enhance that. Alright, we're looking at the Weathered Guardian. It's all pretty low. Fifty to fifty eight. Let's see here. I mean most of the other stuff is yeah. I guess we can upgrade that. Finally using the bronze scrap. Uh silver scrap for this. It's actually quite decent. She's halfway there. I'm not going to upgrade that for her. Alright, let's see. Where are you? Mana earrings. You have mastered that already. Do we have any other earrings for her? We do. Calcite. I, I'm i not sure that... No, she hasn't mastered calcite, so we'll have to swap that out for her. Um, man, that's a pretty big hit that she's going to take, too. Um... Yes. We'll do that. Amber pendant. He's nearly done. Plane is done. Calcite is not. Trying to up our, our people's thing. I mean, he's not even in the thing. I'm not sure why I'm, I'm wasting it on him. He's just got a marine charm. Okay. 
okay, and she has the Aphrodite sash. It's about to go away. She finished the belt. So really, she just gets to choose whichever one she wants at this point. The sturdy belt. Yeah. That's okay. Eh. HP is 8% or lower. I guess we're just going to increase that. I'll put her calcite belt back on her. Until we find something different, which I'm assuming we'll do soon. Uh, you've mastered the calcite waistcoat. You don't have the thorny waistcoat yet. Let's go ahead and give you that. Okay, I think we've pretty much done all that we can do. We've earned the new title of engineer. Fine. Let's go ahead and uh, let's equip some different things. So she did she finish mastery on this? Not yet. She will. No, no. And yes, the battle boots are done. Do we have anything that she hasn't mastered? The floric boots are not mastered yet. Yeah, we're gonna swap equipment because Eleanor probably can use almost anything at this point, so that's totally fine. Alright, and then Eleanor, Battle Boots, that's fine. She's, like I said, she could use almost anything at this point. Simple Ribbon, we still don't have a replacement for. Whoops. Okay, Calcite Daggers are mastered. And there's nothing else for you to master, so enjoy your Calcite Daggers, the Marine Charm. Just starting, okay. The waistcoat is master. Let's go with the thorny waistcoat, okay. Flame ward's fine, and the floric boots are fine for you. Amber boots, she has not mastered it yet. Nope, nope. Yes, the mana earrings, and she has calcite earrings waiting for her, which is perfect. This has not mastered yet. Armstrong's fine. No, 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 no. And no, 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 and no. Alright, so we're good to go. Everybody is now situated correctly, hopefully. And we're able to continue. We're able to continue. Uh oh. What's that sound? Guess we're about to find out. Oh. Uh oh. No. Well, if you aren't the craziest demon, your body's harder than your own sword. Oh, dang. Who's this? That's Lord Shigure, one of the only two legged exorcists in the entire abbey. <laughs> A legate. Same as Melchior. Eleanor, fancy meeting you here. Huh. What the hell happened to you? You get captured by a demon? Or are you a turncoat? Uh, I... I'm... Eh, don't matter. I do my own thing. I got no standing to tell you how to live. It's true. Still, today's my lucky day. Never thought I'd encounter the one and only Stormquell. You didn't. Shigure, I think someone over there wants your attention. That's creepy. He looks lonely. <laughs> You're right, I'm being a jerk. Just can't pass up the chance to tease my little brother. Ah, okay. Can I, Rokuro? That, that's Your about brother? right. You haven't changed a bit, Shigure. You go blind, dumbass? I'm bucket load stronger now. Mm. You're the one who hasn't changed, I bet. You still hung up on trying to take me down? The one you want to beat in a fight? That's him? I'm not who I was that day either, brother. Oh, dang. Oh, wait. You're a demon? <laughs> now it's getting good. Okay. But I wonder, has that really changed anything? Uh-oh. Where, where does Sheath go? When my real storm howl breaks your sad reject again, you gonna piss yourself like last time? <laughs> Oh, dang. He's not even going to handle him. Laffy said, no matter what, I need you to stay out of it. Uh, all right. There's no way this is a good idea. Oh, God, he's going to kill me. 
It's been too long since we crossed swords. Oh god, I wasn't Shut wrong. Up. You're dead. I'll make you regret sparing my life last time. That didn't do anything. I don't know what I'm doing. See this? No, Rogaru, no. What is? I wonder what my one move does. Oh man, we were just getting annihilated here. No, it hurts. Stop hurting me. I tried to block and dodge. Did not work. Oh please. You're not too shabby. Run like the wind, Binky. Come on. Alright, you know what? When I'm this close, I won't miss, because I'm using daggers instead of my sword. You're feisty as a demon. I like it. Oh, he's angry. But alas, I think our fight's over. Rokuro! What? My... my body! I said stay out of this! We're just getting started here! Oh. No backing down for you this time, huh? But we're done for today. Sigurai! Oh, calm down, Rokuro. Okay. We could have a real fight sometime if you actually brought a decent sword. Oh, his sword Go actually did break. Go ask that old bastard huh. there to make you one. I'll be waiting. Huh? Who? That demon in the armor, Kurogane. Oh, so that's what the happened. Blacksmith all. from the story. Yeah. I'll be waiting for you at Port Cadnix. Unless you can beat me, you ain't getting off this island. Who are you to decide that? Yeah, don't you know who she is? You got a problem with it, lady? <laughs> Best of luck, you demons. You'll need it. Lord Shigure, sir. I'm on a high-level mission. Eleanor, babe, I get it. You've gone rogue. Have fun with that. I see you again. I'll kill you. Uh, uh... <laughs> he wasn't even trying yet. You can tell. But if we all fight him together... No. This is my fight. That won't work. But there is another way. Sweet. What are you talking about? What way? Follow me. Cool. Party time! Uh, we should probably all follow. I'm just, I'm just saying. Alright, well, we didn't do super good against our, our Brohemian, but that's okay. Drop rates for equipment improved with each enemy defeated in the same battle. Okay. So if you are hunting a specific enemy for its equipment drop, save that enemy for last. However, defeating enemies with Mystic Arts has a much greater impact on drop rates. So if you can create an opportunity to defeat a greater number of enemies with Mystic Arts, you should take it. Velvet, aren't we going after him? This is his fight. It has nothing to do with me. So? But Shigure said he'd be waiting at the port. He may be a nutball, but I don't think he's fool enough to let us slip past. Exactly. And as a swordsman, he's even more skilled than Artorius, and that's saying something. We're mice with our tails pinned, and the cat's licking his lips. At the very least, Korogane seems to have some kind of plan. Fine. We'll hear what he has to say. It's a little funny. You see Magilu just kind of slink into the, uh, into the thing. That was, that was great. Into the frame. Alright, what do we do? Triple loss. That's about right. Fortune telling... Okay, fortune telling trickery, all right, and unyielding. Yeah. Scout ship. We'll do that again. Let's see what Morgrim the cat what something. What was that fat cat creature with Shigure? You mean Morgrim? She's a Moloch. She just looks different. Huh. And? And what? She has all the abilities of a Moloch. I'm not trying to keep anything from you. All I know is her name and that she's a Moloch. Huh. Lord Shigure is an exorcist legate. 
But he's also a warrior who can match exorcists or demons even without the use of Moloch arts. Interesting. Since no one has ever seen Shigure use an art, Morgrim is considered one of the Seven Wonders of the Abbey. Huh. The Seven Wonders of the Abbey! Oh, creepy. No one knows Morgrim's capabilities, or even the details of Shigure's pact with her. No one! Except me, that is! Surprise! Huh? This is all highly classified, but... Morgrim is incredibly lazy. Mm. The price she demanded of Shigure for making a pact with her was grooming and defleeing. <laughs> Anything else? Oh, and on a point of sensitivity, she's chubby, not fat. She may be our enemy, but she's also a woman. You should try not to hurt each other's feelings. That's fair. <sighs> Anything and disturbing. else? Her thick eyebrows are all the rage with Malakim, so much so that false eyebrows are expected to be the next big thing. Uh, <sighs> well, if he's that strong without Malak arts, I don't want to see what he's like with them. Yeah. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for this particular episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time with more Malakim and Tales of Berseria. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will... See you later.